Good evening. Sydney has been warned. Torrential rain is on the way tomorrow and over the weekend. Already there's flooding to our north, with the State Emergency Service receiving hundreds of calls for help. Saturday's Golden Slipper at Rose Hill could be washed out. In Coffs Harbour, it's been coming down all day. Flooding roads, forcing vehicles to higher ground and a school to be evacuated. The teachers came up and said that school was, school was out. We're getting evacuated, so I bet they're stoked. The coastal trough is taking its toll across the mid-north coast, waters rising in Kempsey. At Port Stephens, roads have been washed out. SES crews called in. With all the briefings and warnings we've had, we've brought in additional resources from out of area to assist. Many aren't waiting for help. It's coming. It's coming. Starting sandbagging themselves. And there's water coming in the house. It's a bit of a rush to get it done before it gets worse. And that's exactly what the Bureau is predicting. Towns from Port Macquarie to the Illawarra on flood watch and the bad weather is headed to Sydney. 30 millimetres came down today, tomorrow up to 50 is predicted, as much as 120 millimetres by Saturday. So as we move into the weekend, we also expect there's, there's a good potential for that localised flash flooding across the Sydney metro area. A soaking from Bondi to Blacktown, Parramatta to Penrith. Racing New South Wales now watching the skies nervously ahead of Saturday's $3.5 million golden slipper race at Rose Hill. Look, we're, we're planning to uh, forge ahead at this stage. Um, we have inspections uh, for, this after, for tomorrow afternoon and also for Saturday morning and that'll determine uh, as to how the meeting proceeds. Not just the races under a cloud, but the road network too. With many parts of the state expected to be impacted by flooding, authorities are asking for people to reconsider travel this weekend. The worst of it still to come. Andrew Denny, 7 News. From dust to mud. 230 kilometres northwest of Longreach. If you had to get a pin and stick it in the middle of Queensland somewhere, you'd land on us. The Orielton cattle farm. That's the heaviest fall and the most we've had um, in about five years. Transformed by liquid gold. My father always used to say it doesn't rain money, but it's very close. Closer to the coast at Mount Ball, celebration turned to devastation. The deluge filling dams, then destroying them. Water supplies soaked up by soil. It toppled trees near Yapoon and a record. The most rainfall we've recorded within one 24-hour period, not just in March, but for any time of year. 550 millimetres at Byfield, which has now had at least 685 since Tuesday. Clermont's only pharmacist was cut off by rising creeks. One of them was up over a metre over the road, the other one would have been two or three. But Grant Oswald has friends in high places, a helicopter pilot. Said, mate, I'm coming into town, I'll drop by and pick you up. And we've heard from the hero vet who picked up Minxie, bitten by a brown snake. They said it's a bit rickety, but it's not too bad. It's a bit like myself, it's just getting weathered with the years. She's expected to make a full recovery. It's a bit like getting over a massive hangover, really, I always think. The rain is a parting gift from La Nina, which is on its way out. But the phenomenon could still bring wetter than normal weather for the next month. Farmers keeping their fingers crossed. Even this much rain can't break a drought.